Oh, let's try out Malthael to begin with. He sounds kind of dreary. I can't hear what he's saying. I need to up my volume a bit. One sec. I shall return. Oh, yeah. Firstly, I thought, that's kind of an underwhelming dance. Like, can you even see it? <laughs> but the funny thing is... It's really freaking funny, actually. Imagine doing that in lane to someone. <laughs> it's the very fact that he almost stands still entirely. That makes it funny. Imagine you're at the bus stop and on the other side the bus stop in the opposite direction You're going out of the city. They're going in the city and then you stand still in front of them and you're like This is kind of, this is kind of intimidating kind of funny rare mile fail. All right uh, Let's let's see the taunt hmm. Kind of spooky what I think he's trying to say is you're you're next, you're dead. You are not worth talking to because you're going to die soon. Yeah, it, it reminds me of what is love, baby don't hurt me, I, I guess. But then uh, it's just a head shake. It's not only Saturday Night Live that uh, defines that. All right, I can't press Q, I can't press W, can't press D or R. Because they're all tied into Death Shroud or auto attacks. Uh, we want to fight whom? Who do we want to kill? Illidan. Yeah, we can do some voice lines. Thank you very much. He seems kind of like a morose fellow. He definitely doesn't have the quality of Lily, you know, upbeat and cheerful and flowers and you got all five of them. I can't wait for the Maltheo announcer where uh, you win the game and he's like, yeah. Let's try out his abilities. Ninety nine, ninety nine nine. It's capped, isn't it? Afflicted by Reaper's Mark, dealing hundred eight damage 
Healing Maltheo for 48 per target hit. Heroic targets heal Maltheo for an additional. That was a clever use of uh, teleportation. Attack speed 0.91, same as Leoric. A little bit less than one per second. So this is the wave, eight second cooldown, 50 mana, we've got Wraith Strike. Teleport through an enemy afflicted by a Reaper's Mark, dealing 64 damage and a refreshing a Reaper's Mark. Soul Rip is only a 2 second cooldown for 20 mana. Definitely useful when laning or during camps. I should deal damage to all of them. Looking at how it's like to clear a wave, we can probably do E into Q. Uh, isn't the Orc 0.71? Oh, 0.77? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like the Orc at all then. Not the best laner from the looks of it. You can only teleport to things that you've previously hit. Okay. This is Diablo speed, not Leoric. Okay. Uh, his health at level 1 is going to Choose be... 2041. A little bit on the low side. Attack range 1.5, less than Arthas. More than the old Arctanus. Normal mana pool. Movement speed is all normal. Now let's take a look at his talents. Increase Wraith Strike's range by 35%. That's a pretty big deal. Allows you to teleport to further away targets. On a pale horse, gain an additional 20% movement speed while mounted. Oh, daddy-like. My, my word. That's really interesting. You have been slain. So we do good damage to the boss, but at the same time we teleported into a stun and we're also level one, so that didn't work out too well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, reset talents, fear the reaper, activate to increase movement speed by 25% and pass through other units for 4 seconds. Note that it says units and not buildings, a very important distinction made. that we are having a head start on learning uh, compared to others. <laughs> I knew that actually. That was that was a joke. It's it's called slapstick humor. Uh, reset times. Okay, so we'll go with the death reach, uh, and let's go to level twenty right now. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Four thousand three hundred two HP. Sure, joke. Yeah. Well, it it is when it is, guys. Okay. Choose a talent. Die alone. Soul reap deals seventy five percent more damage if it hits only one hero. Choose a talent. Grit. 384 instead of 219. Noise. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Hit 20 heroes with Death Shroud. Permanently increase Death Shroud's range by 33%. It reduces cooldown by 2 seconds. Choose a talent. The cooldown is 8, it will be 6. I stand to the right side of the giant. I stand under the giant. I can just about reach from here. When we choose this one and we complete the quest, we will get this range. And we have the six seconds cooldown instead of eight. Choose a talent. 
Black Choose Harvest. A Apply Reaper's Mark to heroes for a total of 150 seconds. Permanently increase Reaper's Mark duration by two Choose seconds. Talent. Slap! So we gain four stacks from that because it lasts four seconds. It gives a ding every two ticks, apparently. When we complete that quest, of course we get a longer duration. We get six seconds. That's interesting. Cold Hand. Soul Reap. Soul Rip slows enemies by 20% for two and a half seconds. Soul Choose Rip is the Q. They were pretty slow. Mortality. Ouch. Uh, when damaging a hero, Race Strike deals bonus damage equal to 4% of the hero's maximum health. Race Strike is W. Oh yeah, when you teleport through someone, they also take 4%. That's pretty interesting. So Choose you could say like, uh, okay, you know, I'll, I'll go for uh, Race Strike Choose range. And... There's no race strike stuffs here. Soul rip on a single a hero, talent. and you get mortality. Choose a talent. And then, uh, okay, let's say you do this, and then you teleport behind them, and then you Q. Uh, you get more damage because you hit a single target, and you can teleport from far away. You can initiate with this to get Reaper's Mark, and you deal the bonus damage. So you do a total of 2,090 damage, if that's all you do. Not bad, but of course that's on the boss. It's going to be different on a hero. We'll select the enemy hero, ETC. And we'll, uh, we'll try that. Of course, we didn't have any of the other things yet. Yes, Arp sack. Of course, now it doesn't uh, keep track of their numbers. Well done. Um, okay, and Touch of Decay. Activate to reduce healing received by heroes afflicted by Reaper's Mark by 50% for 4 seconds. That's pretty damn good. But we're not going to try it out because, you know, it's try mode. Let's like, take a look at the heroics. Q doesn't crit if you hit, have a minion hit. But the way it reads, if it hits only one hero. No, you're right. But it says only one hero, not only a hero and nothing else. You are quite right, actually. That is, uh, that is a wrong tooltip. But anyway, let's go to the, let's go to the uh, heroics. Tormented souls gain 20 armor and unleash a torrent of souls. Continually applying Reaper's Mark to nearby enemies for four seconds. Choose a talent. Okay, interesting. 20 armor. 80 seconds, 100 mana. Toggle cooldowns. Try again. Of course, you can still use abilities as well. Feels a little bit like Kerrigan's Maelstrom on Overdrive. It's bigger. It gives you armor. It damages stuff. It's basically like Maelstrom. A little bit. survivability, damage, and you can do other things. And it's gonna heal you so much because it applies Reaper's Mark to every minion, mercenary, boss, and hero. And then when you press Q, you heal from all of that. Not to be underestimated, ladies and gents. Now let's reset down and talent. try the other heroic. Choose a talent. Choose Last a talent. rights. Choose a talent. <laughs> I 
two seconds. And they need to be 33%. Okay. Okay. Uh, AI moves very unpredictably, I uh, guess. What's the range? Okay, pretty short. Enemy slain. Haha, -ha. didn't think I could do it, huh? The range seems to be the same as the other heroic. Let's see. This part of the bush. Okay. Uh, this part of the bush. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Yeah, the exact same range. Okay. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. A soul siphon. Does it show a skull when you can kill enemy? I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, it does. It does. Oh, that's that's good. Well, oh, that that's was good. That's good. Entertaining. It does show uh, skull. Okay, move on. Increase soul rips bonus healing from heroes to four percent of the hero's maximum health. Three percent. Four percent. Okay. 33% buff to that part of the healing. Gain 15 physical armor per enemy hero afflicted by Reaper's Mark up to a maximum of 45. Choose a talent. Kind of like Gul'dan spell armor, but worse. It's just a lot worse than Gul'dan spell armor, but it's different. It's against physical attacks rather than spell, but it has a max of 5 higher than Gul'dan, which is 40%, but it's far harder to hit it that many times. Activate to become unstoppable for two seconds, but remove all Reaper's Marks. Yes, that's the one that I said in my YouTube review that is probably not really going to be that competitive compared to the rest. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. I mean... Choose a talent. Really now. Oh yeah, it was reapplied. It works on ETC, it doesn't, there's a bug here with chaos. Chaos is as chaos does, but it works on ETC. But anyway, I don't think it's gonna see too much use. Shroud of Wisdom, after two seconds, gain four seconds of 50 spell armor. That seems pretty good. The big question is, can you cast it while stunned? That is definitely very interesting, while stunned or silenced. I'm assuming no, nothing else works that way, Jamie fan. If that were actually true, it would be very good ability. Okay, let's go on to the next talent here. Reduce soul reps cooldown by half a second, and of course it is only two seconds, and increase its range by 50%. Choose a talent. That is pretty huge. But do you need it? Yeah, maybe yes, maybe yes. It's not bad. Makes it a lot easier to combo Death Shroud together with Soul Rip even at a great distance. When you need it the most and you're low life, it helps. Huge. Perfect for infinite healing on Braxis. Oh yes. Oh yes. That's true. Okay, so this one is very good. We all agree. Not only CDR, but also huge range increase. 
Ray Strike now damages and applies Reaper's Mark to enemies around its target. Let's try that Choose one out. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Ray Strike. Instantly teleport through an enemy affected by Reaper's Mark. Oh, cool. It's the scythe thing. All right, and this is how big the area is. Okay, in a giant swath around the target. That's clear enough. It's good shit. Of course, I have cooldowns off. Don't don't go crazy. Still took kind of long to clear the camp. Um, okay, Memento Mori. Reaper's Mark deals 100% increased damage after afflicting an enemy for more than four seconds. Let's try that Choose one out as well. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. It keeps doing ticks of 208 against his target dummy. And suddenly, crit, as advertised. <laughs> Memento Mori has synergy with Black Harvest. Uh, yes, correct. Because then you'd never need to attack someone twice. Just hitting Killing them once screen. will already give you two stacks of crit. So we might as well test it talent. in exactly Choose that way. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. 124, 124, 124, 124. Of course, I haven't completed the quest yet. 124, 124, and then it's gonna be 248 suddenly. Boom. 249 even. Wow, we got one bonus damage. So that's pretty interesting. Of course, it is over a fairly slow period of time, but definitely interesting. Could be good. Last right heals 100% of the damage dealt, and the current and future cooldown reduction bonuses are doubled. I like that it also does current. Just in case you've done a pretty stand up job of stacking uh, down your cooldown, you can be like, oh, let's. You know, I've already took 20 seconds off. Let's take another 20 off. Cool. Death Shroud leaves a trail in its wake for 4 seconds. Applying Reaper's Mark. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Hot diggity damn. I like that. That's uh, powerful zoning. Okay. And that really makes it very easy to proc Memento Mori for a very long period of time. In theory, if someone stands still in it, that's six seconds plus four, which gives you six crits. Enemy slain. And instant wave clear. Nope. <laughs> Not even close. <gasps> Because it's percentage based. <laughs> 38! 38! Okay. Uh, activate a respawn. That Choose one's probably talent. not very useful for talent. someone like me. Choose a talent. Because uh, Choose a talent. I, I'm such a safe player that generally I won't really need the respawn. So let's try it out. gonna hold down Your one killing spree has ended wow it's pretty much instant i wanted to see how quickly it could be done uh so i held it down it's pretty much i disappear i arrive pretty cool indeed but the next respawn time will be increased by 25 percent and so that means that he will have an 81 second cooldown if he dies at level 20 he uses this once 81 second Okay, uh, theorizing on builds will come later after initial testing. This is very cool. That was Maltael, hope you enjoyed it. Does the 25% scale per death though? Well, it's always 65 seconds, level 20 and later. Oh, you mean every time 25 extra? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh yes, I forgot the other heroic. Let's try. Reaper of Souls. Talent. While Tormented Souls is active, hero takedowns extend its duration by 4 seconds. It lasts for 4, so if you get one takedown, that's 8. If you get a second takedown, that's 12. Get a lot of armor. I mean, 
long period of armor, a lot of damage, and so on and so on. That's uh, that's cool. What button do you press to get that wheel with dance and taunt on it? X. Now, of course, if you don't get takedowns, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't have a passive advantage. Yeah, and if you kill the whole enemy team with it, you can do very long-term effective wave clear. Dodging, we wouldn't need to dodge. Because it would be dead. Oh, wow! Nice! Does anybody want to play a game, Kappa 3? <laughs> How impressive! Is that a reference to what happened yesterday? <laughs> 